Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, it might be a little different for you, but I've been getting bombarded with a lot of people asking, how do I get into resin 3D printing with limited funds? So for those out there that are trying to get into resin 3D printing and print some really cool models like what you see behind me, I'm gonna show you how to do this on some sort of budget. That's right, I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do to save a little bit of money when starting out so that way you don't break the bank. And hey, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any future videos. So yeah, the first and biggest expense that you're gonna need in getting into resin 3D printing is the printer. But hey, there are some cool options out there, and if you do your research, you can find one at a killer price right now. A lot of companies are really closing out their old models and uh, getting new ones in and really trying to ramp up the newer models and trying to push them out into the market. But hey, remember what I said in a few videos ago, you do not have to have the best of everything. As a matter of fact, let me show you what I got and what I started out with. Maybe that'll help. So this little guy right here is what I started out with, the Elgu Mars. But hey, after I got into resin 3D printing, I knew that I had to get something bigger to make bigger statues. So now I have two of these, but this was what I started out with whenever I was getting into statue printing. I got this AnyCubic Photon Mono X, and there's some really good bargains out there right now that you can find these for about $350 to $400. So if you have access to Amazon, check out some of the deals they have on there and uh, that's the most expensive thing that you need and it all goes downhill from there. So let's check out a few other things that you might need. Oh yeah, you're not gonna be able to print anything without resin. Let's take a look at some of the resins that I use. And one of the reasons I use these is because they're cheap and inexpensive. Take a look. So this is one of the first resins that I started using and it really is my go-to resin. It's the Elgu Standard Gray Resin. Runs about $22 to $25 for a thousand grams, which isn't bad considering some of the other costs of some of the other resins out there. But this is a great starter resin and it's worked for me just incredibly. And I've printed most of my statues in my videos with this type of resin right here. And if you wanna go cheaper than that, I actually started using this Rich Opto resin right here, which has done really great for me and uh, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, but this right here is an amazing price at $14.99 on Amazon. So yeah, now that you got your machine, you got your resin, you're gonna need a couple more things. You're, you're gonna need something to clean your prints with, and then you're gonna need something to cure them. So the most common thing that you, people clean their prints with is IPA, uh, but I'm gonna show you an alternative which is cheaper and something that I have been using for years, and it works perfect. So I've been using this denatured alcohol here for it's like 20 bucks for a gallon of it at Lowe's or at a hardware store. And it's much cheaper if you take a gallon of IPA and compare the cost with this. And when I first started using this stuff, I use it in an old bucket. I didn't have any type of wash and cure station and you really don't need that. You just need something that will hold the alcohol and you clean it off with. And the next thing that you're gonna need once your print is clean and dry is you're gonna need a UV light source to cure it. So I bought one of these UV lights right here like this off of Amazon. I think it was around $30. And at the same time, I needed something to cure my prints in. I didn't want to leave them out in open air and just expose UV to everything. So what I did was I went and bought one of these tubs and this tub was like four or five dollars from like Walmart. And then I took and just cut a hole in the top of it here and I lined it with aluminum foil. Aluminum foil, you can buy that for pretty much like a dollar at the dollar store. And I lined it out so it would be reflective. And that way when I put the UV light on, like so, turned it on, put it on, it would actually cure the inside here. Now you can get a little fancier and get the UV uh, strip lights to put in there to wrap around there. So all in all, this UV box right here cost to me a close to around $40 between the light, the box itself, and the aluminum foil. Of course, if it's a nice day, you can always sit them out in the sun and let them cure. So before you guys start chiming in on the comment section, yes, you do have to have some protective equipment in order to operate a resin printer. One of the things being gloves. But the good thing is, is you can find these cheap like at Harbor Freight on their sales. 
these are like six dollars for a box where you normally would pay like twenty dollars plus at a like a hardware store or something like that so check harbor freight check different places like that you can find these things on the cheap uh, and stock up on them when you get them so I also recommend in getting things like a breathing mask or a respirator of some sort, and also maybe some uh, protective glasses. A lot of times you could find these at your local dollar store, but if you can find one, also maybe at Harbor Freight, get you a nice respirator. Those are a must have whenever you're doing any cleaning, any sanding of the sort or whatever. They're great to have around. It's a must have in resin printing. And other little things like cheap wood filler or sandpaper, you can pick those up at your dollar store or like your Lowe's, Walmart, or something like that. And paper towels. I cannot stress you how much you need to find these on sale and stock up on them because you will use a lot of them. So I'll have a lot of affiliate links below in the description that you can find some of these products on Amazon and save you a lot of money. There are a lot of other things that people use that are not necessarily what you need to, if you're on a budget, but I also have some of those down below as well. And is this everything? Nah, it's the essentials. Forget, we're on a budget here, man. So you got your resin print all done. You got it all prepped. You're gonna need some other things like primer and paint. Ooh, now there's a subject we can talk about all day long. Yeah, so let's talk about painting on a budget just a little bit. So when it comes to painting, I try to be the king of cheap because before you know it, you can invest hundreds if not thousands of dollars into paint that's probably not gonna be used. That's right, remember what I told you before, you do not have to have every single paint and you don't have to have the most expensive paint. As a matter of fact, you can go to like a Michaels or Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that that sells just the inexpensive cheap craft paint to get you started. Uh, I did a video, it's up in the corner, uh, on craft paint. And believe it or not, this stuff actually works pretty good. So you can find like different sets online like this one from hippiecrafter.com and uh, different other craft stores and use that. And when it comes to shading, there are different options out there that you can use. One is pastels. So cheap pastels like this are used all the time in mini painting, statue painting for really good shading effects. If you wanna go a step further and get yourself an airbrush, but yet you don't have a lot of space, well, I've got a solution for that too. So there are some pretty cool portable airbrushes out there that don't take up a lot of space. They don't need a noisy compressor because, well, they have a compressor with them already. Like this one here from Pelkis right here. This comes with like a little small rechargeable air compressor that you can use along with the airbrush inside. So yeah, so you got your airbrush here. You just hook up to your tubing and your little compressor right here. And then that's it right there. It's pretty cool, huh? So yeah, if you're having a lot of space restraints and everything, one of these might be an alternative for you if you're looking to get into airbrushing. Yeah, so when it comes to brushes, I usually buy the cheapest thing I could find because I'm pretty hard on my brushes. So I usually pick these sets up like this for like $14, $15 off of Amazon. There is a couple of links below, uh, but yeah, these work great for detail brushes. You don't have to worry about spending a lot of money uh, and they go a long way. So other brushes like these, I just pick up from like the dollar store. I mainly use them for like dry brushing or just, you know, to cover uh, big areas of paint. Um, but yeah, I mean, cheap. So yeah, those are a few things that are basically the essentials and help you on a budget. That way you can get into resin printing uh, fairly inexpensive, <laughs> for as inexpensive as it can be, right? Just like every other hobby out there, this one has some expenses that you can't control, like the cost of the printer, cost of the resin, but there are other things that you can do to help with cost, such as the things that I just showed you. Is it everything? Probably not, I'm, pro I'm sure I left some things out. And even when you go out and buy a resin printer, nine times out of 10, the manufacturer sends you little things like the spatulas, the little snippets, and they send you some gloves and some masks to kind of help you start out with. Can be pricey starting out, so any tips that I can give you to help you alleviate some of those costs and everything, then that's what I'm here for. So I hope that this helped you out a lot. Um, if it didn't, you know, give me some suggestions in the comments below. Let me know what you think or some other things that maybe people can read through. Something I might not have covered because I'm not perfect by any means. 
And before I go, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my patron community. Um, without these guys, I mean, I would not probably be able to do all the printing and stuff that I do. And I definitely probably wouldn't be able to produce these videos. And if you would like to become a member of the Patreon, I do have a link below in the description as well. And if you don't want to become a member, just simply watch the videos. You can support the channel by doing that and also sharing the videos. So I hope this video serves you well. And as usual, everybody, stay safe out there. Get out and create something. Print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video, we'll see you.